Praise the Most High God, brothers and sisters. I come before you guys this day, June 22nd, 2017. Glory be to God. I just wanted to share an uplifting, encouraging word with you guys and read off the scripture. And also, I wanted to share with you guys, my aunt gave me a call this morning and she stated that the Lord gave her a dream last night that she saw Gabriel. And guess what, you guys? He's getting ready to blow the horn. Ha! Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You know, it's not just her. Praise God for confirmation. But over the last past two to three days, I've been receiving notifications from YouTube that other brothers and sisters in Christ are having the same exact dream or vision that they see. Some say they see Michael and then some say Gabriel, but that they are getting ready to sound the trumpet. The trumpet is getting ready to sound. Glory be to God. Our Messiah is here, you guys. He just, he's waiting to manifest himself unto us and receive us unto himself. We must make ready our vessels, you guys. We must make ready our vessels. We must be ready. We must be without spot wrinkle or blemish we cannot have any spots on our garment glory be to god any spots we cannot have any spots on our garments glory be to god so go wake somebody up today go shake somebody and tell them that jesus is here the trumpet is getting ready to sound i'm waking you up so that you may have a chance to repent and get it right with jesus before he comes and before the trumpet sounds glory be to god he's given us you guys yet another day i thank him for today i thank him for breathing his precious breath of life in my body today so that I may have another chance to get it right with him. Saints, let's not grow weary. Let's not grow slothful in this hour, in this season, because the Lord is soon to return. We cannot afford to be distracted. And we know that in this season, I've noticed something, you guys. I've noticed that the enemy has beefed up his distractions. He's beefed up his attacks. You know, uh, I'm being attacked like constantly in the spirit realm and in the physical realm. But glory be to God, we have victory, you guys. We have victory in Jesus. Hallelujah. Satan is a defeated foe. <laughs> he is defeated already. The Lord has given us power to tread on serpents and scorpions. Glory be to God. We have that authority. We must walk in it. That's the problem. We don't walk in the authority, but glory be to God. This video is about me giving y'all an encouraging and uplifting word and giving some of you guys out there confirmation that the Lord has given us dreams and visions that Gabriel or some say they see Michael is getting ready to blow the trumpet. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We're almost out of here, saints. Hang on, but I'm going to read one of our favorite scriptures that go hand in hand with the with the catching away glory be to god first thessalonians 4 and 16 i'm going to start off reading you guys it says for the lord himself shall descend ha hallelujah he shall descend glory be to god he shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of god glory be to god and the dead in christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and so shall we ever be with our lord wherefore comfort one another with these words glory be to god saints let's comfort one another with these words let's comfort one another with these words you know our father said that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Glory be to God. We know that, that that the thing that he spoke, it will come to pass. Glory be to God. Because he said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words won't pass away. Meaning that the thing that he spoke, he will accomplish it. It, it will be accomplished. He said this in his word. Glory be to God. He spoke about this. He told us to comfort one another with these words, that he is coming back. And this goes along, you guys, with the scripture in John, when he says, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you and if I go to prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am you may be also hallelujah glory be to God Jesus is coming to get us he's coming to get us he's coming to get us hallelujah the trumpet is getting a sound you ready to sound you guys go and tell somebody it is very important that we tell somebody because you know we don't know what's in store uh, uh, for those that are going to be left behind in the great tribu tribulation, we know that it's going to be literally not even like hell on earth, but it's going to be very, very devastating. You know, Matthew 24 tells us that it will be a time such as there was not since the beginning of days, no, nor shall ever be. It's never, ha it's never happened before. What's going to go down in the tri great tribulation, we, our eyes, our human eyes, our 
our human eyes have never seen those things before. Glory be to God. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to be left behind and see nothing like that. I don't want my family members, loved ones, the brothers and sisters in Christ. None of us should want one another to get left behind. Glory be to God. So it's kind of like when you're running a race and, and you running up against somebody and you see somebody that's ahead of you, but you see the finish line. But guess what? Everybody has the same destination. You guys, we all trying to make it in. We're all trying to make it in. We're all trying to make that final destination. We're all trying to be heaven bound. Glory be to God. And we're all trying to make it past the finish line. So if you see your brother and your sister stumble and fall, help them back. Take some time while you're running your race and, and, and you see them stumble. Lift them back up and encourage them and say, oh, hold on, brother. Don't let me help you up. You didn't, I see you tripped or, or you're getting slow. Come on, let's go. We almost there. We almost to the finish line. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's encourage one another because the race is not given to the swift. The race is not given to the swift, but to the one to the one who endures to the end. Glory be to God. Let's endure. And not only us endure, but let's help our brother and our sister. Okay? Let's exhort them. Let's let's admonish them. Let's 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 give them an uplifting and encouraging word on our journey, you guys, because at the end the beginning and the end of the day, we all have that destination that we are trying to make it into the kingdom. Glory be to God. The trumpet is getting ready to sound, you guys. I wanted to give you guys an encouraging and uplifting word that our Messiah is almost here and we must make ready our vessels and I pray that this is confirmation for somebody else. I didn't have the dream. My aunt had the dream that Gabriel is getting ready to sound and blow the trumpet. Glory be to God. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I can't give it to you in detail like she can. I'll tell you what, what I'll do you guys. Whenever I see her again, when I go to her apartment, I'll interview her and I'll record her uh, speaking on the, the, the dream that our Lord gave her and I will put it up on YouTube with her permission. Glory be to God. But I wanted to give you guys an uplifting and encouraging word today, saints. Hang on in there and, and, and be encouraging to somebody else today. Tamara loves you, saints, and Jesus does too. Shalom.